Okay, we're in the kitchen here. Yep. So, you have your own column in the Irving paper now. Well, you know, it's an opportunity. Yep. Brian Duplessis, I'm the executive director of the Fredericton Homeless Shelters. And yes, I do have a column, and the, uh, the Gleaner was very kind and generous to offer an opportunity to talk about poverty issues uh, on a bi-weekly basis in the column. So you don't have to go to the media all the time now and just to get your message out, you got your own column. Well, you know, I'm going to be talking about certain issues, but the media have always been very supportive, whether it's CBC, the Gleaner, uh, the most famous blogger in New Brunswick, are always interested in the work at the uh, at the shelters, and that support's vital for people to understand the challenges that we face and to give us the support we need. If you keep on praising this blogger, you're going to be out of a job pretty damn quick. <laughs> well, you know, you know, Charles, uh, I may or may not disagree with everything that you say in your blog, and I, I'm sure you know that. But uh, you provide a tremendous uh, source of information, quite frankly, on issues that uh, sometimes aren't covered in the mainstream media. Thank you. Um, so, what are you going to write about? Good issues or uh, b boring issues? Everything, or? everything that could, every issue that could uh, have an effect on poverty, and that everything from affordable housing to uh, um, uh, income assistance rates to the medical system, detox centers, methadone clinics, those types of things. One more thing, uh, the city didn't give no money for the for the for the, for the shelter last night in their budget. Any opinions on that? Uh, we're very disappointed, and uh, we had thought we had made a very credible case. And you know, as we made that case, I issued an invitation, a personal invitation, to the mayor and to all of the councillors that before they made a decision, please come down to the shelters. Uh, in total, three councillors have come to the shelters since I've been there, but the vast majority have not. Uh, that part's extremely disappointing because I think before they make decisions on issues that are important to the city, they should at least see, feel, and know what it is that they're going to make that decision on. Listen, I know you're, you're a busy man. Uh, I don't usually read the Irving paper, but I will uh, definitely try to read your uh, column. I know it's going to be good. I've known you for about a year now, and uh, at first, you know, a CEO from uh, NB Power, I wasn't too sure, but my God, you've been doing fantastic work. You've been honest with your views, and I know you are going to have a wonderful column. Well, Charles, I appreciate that. Correct one thing, I was never the CEO of NB oh, Power. Oh, what do you call it? Vice I was, President? I was, I, was, I was working at NB Power for a couple of years. Vice President, and, right? Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah. But, uh, you know, white collar, white collar, you there, know. There we go. And, yeah. uh, but no, I truly appreciate those kind words and the support, and I'm sure we'll be talking many times in the future. Thanks a lot, Brian. You're welcome. Oh, and Joy Noel. Joy Noel.